Welcome back to Bridgeview. Today we're going to talk about how impacts to the river are minimized during construction. We're going to be on the construction site today and we're going to be chatting with Zach Riley, a superintendent with Kiewit Infrastructure West, our design build contractor for the Portland Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge. So let's get on our safety gear and go. I understand that in water work can only happen during a certain period of the year. Why is that? Well, in water work can only occur between July 1st and October 31st, and that's basically to limit the impact to the migratory um, salmon. During that period of time, the least number of migratory salmon are present in the Willamette River. So what type of work do you and your team do during the in-water work window? During the in-water work period, we focus on the installation of the piles for the temporary work bridge like we're standing on right now. We also focus on uh, getting the sheet pile in for the coffer dams. And then the last part of it is the scour protection around the exterior of the coffer dams. What are coffer dams and why are they needed? Well, coffer dams are essentially an island within the river. So once the coffer dam is completed and the fish in the water are removed from within the coffer dam, we have a work zone that is isolated from the remainder of the flowing Lama River. That work zone allows us to work within that area during all seasons of the river and minimize the impacts to the, the fish and the public that also use the river. So the location of the cofferdams are where the location of the towers will be in the future, right? Yeah, that's correct. Um, once, As we said, once the water and the fish are removed, we'll backfill the cofferdam and give ourselves a platform in which to pour the footings for the towers, the large footings, and then out of those footings, the concrete footings, will come the towers. So we'll build the towers up and that'll be the primary support for the main the permanent bridge. So in the in-water work window, you pile drive for the work trestles, mm -hmm. you build the coffer dams, and you also place scour protection. Can you explain scour protection a little more? Well, scour protection in this case is uh, primarily a large rock, and there's two to five feet of it that we place around the coffer dams. The purpose of the scour protection is to prevent the river currents from undermining or eroding the sediments around the coffer dam. It's kind of equivalent if you've ever stepped in the ocean with a receding wave and you had your foot on the ground and that current tries to pull the sand out from underneath you. The scour protection would be like some small pebbles around your foot that would isolate that and keep that sand from eroding out from underneath you. A lot of interesting information about the in-water work window and the beginning of construction of the Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Bridge. More to come on the next episode of Bridge View.